Howdy, y'all. Thank you for joining us today for this unboxing of Marvel Champions, the card game, the Doctor Strange Hero Pack Expansion. Marvel Champions, the card game, is a cooperative deck construction game for one to four players that takes 45 to 90 minutes to play for ages 14 plus. Howdy, y'all. Thank you for joining us today for this unboxing of Doctor Strange Hero Pack for Marvel Champions. As you can see on the back here, this is going to have 60 card, uh, six cards in it. It's going to have a pre-built deck, which we will do a video of me playing against Rhino. I always do that with all the new decks. I'll just play the regular deck right off the bat. And it's going to have 24 new cards, along with the Nemesis for Doctor Strange, which will be Baron Mordo. One nice thing they do do for Fantasy Flights, LCGs, they usually have this scan bar where you can scan and you can see the cards. Of course, you're about to see the cards right now as we open this up. All right, normally this has like a little plastic sticker right here at the tab. I've already cut that just so we can get right into this. Usually it's going to have one pack of cards in it. And then you want to make sure to check underneath this flap because you're going to have the rule book slash... Contents, however you look at that. All right, so right off the bat, it does give you a poster on the back so that if you don't need the little rules or contents, you have a poster you can use and keep and hang up. But right off the bat, it lets you know the kind of the same thing we saw on the back. It just lets you know the differences like this one. I kind of already knew about this. It just took me a while to get this one in stock. But the Invocation deck, suppose there's supposed to be a separate deck that you will have to decide and that'll be the kind of the spells that you're able to cast or activate in some way. Other than that, we just got, it lets you know, Doctor Strange is a protection deck. I think this might be the first starter I've seen as a protection, but I don't count me on that. I might have just forgotten something. Usually it's a aggression or leadership. And then we got the credits. All right, let's dive right into the cards. All right. I'm not going to read through every single card, but I'll try to keep it enough on screen to where you can kind of see what and pause and read it yourself. But off the bat, we got Dr. Strange here. He's got a two thwart, a one attack and two defense. I will read through these actions. He does have an action. Exhaust Doctor Strange and pay the cost of the top card of the Invocation deck. Resolve the special ability on that card. So basically you get to cast the spell from the Invocation deck. Other side is Steven Strange. He's got a three recovery. It lets you know you start with the Invocation deck because this is the side you'll start on. As an action, you can discard the top card of the Invocation deck. Hmm. And from what I think I heard is basically when the Invocation deck runs out, you will just reshuffle it and that's your new Invocation deck. All right, so the first things we're gonna see are gonna be the, the 15 cards that if you play Doctor Strange, you have to have in your deck. So these are the must-haves in the deck. And it would make sense that Wong would be an ally that he has right off the bat. Then we have Astral Projection. Makes sense. We should see typical things for Doctor Strange like Magic Blast, Master of the Mo Mystic Arts, I almost said Martial Arts, Mystical Studies, Protective Ward, Sanctum Sanctorum, should be in there. Yep, Cloak of Levitation, Magical Enhancements, and two of those, and the Eye of Agamotto. All right, so that's the 50 cards you have to have in. So the next cards are gonna be the protection deck like it said he is. And I'm gonna say about most of these, about half of them are probably gonna be new cards. The rest will be old ones. I'll try to remember off my memory. While the Bat Brother Voodoo here is definitely a new card. Clea, I do not remember her, so that's definitely a new one. Iron Fist is new. Desperate Defense, I believe, is a new card. Momentum Shift, I think, is a new card also. I do not remember this card, so 
And then this is an oldie that typically you have two of in every protection deck. There's one for every single one of the, the types of decks. You got protection, justice, leadership, and aggression. Med team, I'm pretty sure is an old card. And it makes sense because the new cards, they give you three of, since that's the most you could have in a deck. They only give you two of these. The night nurse, whether you recognize her from the TV show or know her from the comics. Unflappable, I'm pretty sure is a new card also. These are the basics. I didn't think about that those could be in the deck. I don't know why I didn't think about it. The basics are basically could be in any deck. So warning. Pretty sure that's a new card. These are in every deck, I think, uh, for the most part, just because they're a two energy, but they usually send one in every starter deck, strength, genius, and energy. Avengers Mansion's pretty standard inside the decks I've seen. The Sorcerers, the Sorcerer Supreme, pretty cool. Now you can be the Sorcerer Supreme. And that should be his deck. So now we're getting into his obligation. The obligation will be shuffled into the Nemesis deck. And if it pops up as one of his encounters, then you have to do what it says. His Nemesis, of course, we knew was Baron Mordo. He could show up in the middle of a, I guess, battle or adventure. And then we have the side scheme that he's going to try to pull off. Opening the Dark Dimension. And then these will be put, shuffled into the deck if he shows up into the Nemesis deck and it's Counterspell, Counterspell, and then Thought Casting. I guess the next is his Invocation deck, Crimson Bands of Sidorak, Images of Icon, Seven Rings of Ragador, Vapors of Valtor, Winds of Watum, and it tells you to stop and then let you know that's everything you're going to need to be able to play Doctor Strange. The rest of this should be new cards. There's usually more of them, but I think they put more invocation because of the invocation. Uh, I took up some of the spaces, and I think I saw a lot more new ones that I normally see inside of these. But I could be wrong. Nice thing about this stop card, if you keep it and you want to rebuild that starter deck, it's got it all right there. And these should all be new cards. We got Skilled Strike for Aggression. And usually these cards gear around the deck that you just bought. It's just so that you can switch them. It's something that kind of gears them to towards if, like, if I want to switch it to an aggression deck, this might be something that works with the deck. Foiled, another a new justice card. And there's three of those. And then it gives you a new ally for leadership, which usually it's three cards, but hey, another ally seems cool. And you get Iron Man as an ally. Pretty cool. All right, we'll get this to the table. There will definitely be a solo playthrough just with the base deck. And then if I like it, we might build other decks and see what's up with that and do some other solo plays. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.